Hello and welcome to the late model stock fixed series here. We're at South Boston and we're going to do some short track racing. Um, I'm a little nervous though, heading out for qualifying and I think it's going to be really important because what I found uh, during practice, maybe predictably, very, uh, very hard to pass. Seems like if you've got that bottom lane, you've got the position. As long as you don't make a mistake. Green, green, green. Okay, here comes your first time lap. That's a new fastest lap for so, the hopefully, we can hit our marks here. It's just done. 15.1. One more lap. Eh, could be better. P3. Feels like the track's got a different level of grip than I got used to. I slid a little bit there, but that was a tiny bit faster. I don't know if that's going to make any difference, though. And we got one spot higher. Whew. All right, and hopefully we stay on the inside. Because the inside's going to be where we want to be, I can imagine. 15 one eleven. That's what we've ended up with. Okay. And, uh, like I said, I'm a little worried about this one. I think guys are going to be using their bumpers to move people out of the way and everything, and I'm just going to have to accept the fact that's how it's going to look, probably. Oh, we got moved to fourth. Oh my goodness, please let me be back on the inside. Who knows, maybe they'll like stack up on the inside and wreck each other and I'll want to be on the outside off the start, but I think probably going to be wanting to be on the inside. I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, no, look. Looky there. Fifth place. <laughs> Still time, though. But, yeah, this is a... Uh, I'm not feeling too great about the chances of having a clean race here. Not a lot of room out here, and the group I'm in made me a little bit nervous. Just the, the way they were chatting a little bit ago. They've gone quiet now, but... Kind of got that uh, that vibe of a whole lot of I don't care. We're just not even taking this seriously kind of thing. And uh, is what it is, I guess. We'll just try to avoid anything that almost assuredly will happen. And we'll try to take what we can get. Right now, P5, waiting on the 7 who has been the only one not qualifying. No idea if they plan to or not. Let's see if uh, they finish up so we don't have to wait a minute and a half, but right now it's looking like we're just gonna have to wait for this one person. We are the number one car, unfortunately, but it's actually not the worst strength of field. We're at 3.1K strength of field, so actually not so bad at all in terms of Competition. I could move my desk, but I gotta be real careful so I don't hit the power plug like I did recently and power off my computer when I'm trying to race. Oh, I think the guy hit the button. Oh no, he actually did laps. He almost he almost took our P5 and made us start on the outside too. But uh, all right, got that all done. I'm gonna if I can can't. All right, I was gonna move my brakes back even further past the 46% we've got right now. Estimated SOF is. Uh, we're just going to do some session last lap. 50 laps here. If there's a big wreck, this is definitely one of those places that it's narrow enough. That could be a problem once we come around. Because only 15 second laps as well. So if they stack up pretty big and wreck on the front or back stretch or something, uh, we're going to be flying around real quick. And uh, they may not be sorted by the time we get there. And that's kind of scary. That's a scary prospect. So, lots of opportunity for this to go wrong, but wanted to race something that wasn't Martinsville, because I'm not doing that. I've sworn off Martinsville on iRacing, except for in a couple other, a uh, couple specific cars where it kind of works. Hey guys, uh, anybody in here got a mic? Mic check? 
No mic. Hold on, Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Good. Well, I know y'all are listening. You gotta stop talking so, for me to uh, say it. What do you think? Your mic is cut. So. Alright. Well, somehow stood it. Y'all better get on the gas. I was gonna respond to him, but he kept kept, kept it queued up. I can't mic. answer. Check one, two. Oh, it's amazing how that works. But no, for real, no, uh, no brake pedal, boys. It broke. Better let off early. Well, I'm running the gas on a button. Cause I mean, I don't have any pedals. Oh my gosh, he's joking, right? Like that's he's just trolling. I hope so. Wow! What are y'all doing, wrecking under caution? We're wrecking already back there. This is gonna be a terrible race, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Let's just hope we can get away from as many people as possible and just try to give lots of room. I'm scared. Get ready, going green. Okay, okay car is off. Time to do green, green, green. Car outside. Outside is clear. All right, let me get through the first couple corners. Down low. Oh my god. Just go to the pits, bud. You're a disaster. Check up for the 12. Boom. B6. So we are okay for now. That's good. That's nice and well. A couple of little bit of scary moments. I'm going to be using a little bit of brake on entry just to try to get some rotation. Hopefully you have some better tire life. I noticed we are on the right front in practice. Hoping to uh, ease up a little bit on that during the race here. So we are in P6, and I don't know if we're going to be able to move forward unless uh, some mistakes happen. Or maybe if we uh, are really good with our tires, maybe we'll have a chance. Oh, there's an opportunity right there. Get someone caught on the outside, maybe we'll have a chance to uh, get on by. We'll have to take advantage of those uh, open doors as much as we can. Let's make sure we're up here. Holding each other really tight. And uh, 12 gets loose. Because of it. It's turning down out of the corner, almost into me. That one was no big wrecks or anything so far that uh, we've seen, so that's good. Uh-oh. There's a wreck, sounds like. We'd be listening for slow car down low or anything like that. Is that a lap car up there, I think? Maybe? Or is that the leader pulling away? I think that's actually the leader pulling away. When we get to the inside of the 12, we're getting close. I'm kind of trying to set something up, but I think it's just making me slower through the corner. It's a little bit loose on the exit when you push hard. I suppose is good as long as I like, you keep it within reason. Maybe getting a little bit more pushy now.
it's hoping these tires do something, I guess, so we can make any sort of progress at all. Everyone feeling really equal right now. Let's see if we get another side-by-side -side at any point, maybe be able to take advantage of that. If we're not able to get on the inside of the 12 ourselves. Hopefully it won't be the 14 getting on the inside bus. Got about half a second to him, though. Uh, go a little too wide there. Hit the wall. <laughs> Gotta be careful about that. Just all kind of at the same speed. Seems to be a common thing in these cars. I feel like you don't get to race long enough for the tires to matter too much a lot of the time, but who knows? We're still not even halfway there, so things could really start changing. Nothing quite yet, though, it looks like. Everyone hitting their marks pretty well, it feels like. Really? Something's happened to the 8. Okay. Ahead. There's a car stopped ahead. Go high. Go high. I don't see anything though. Alright, that was scary. I really had to watch. Your lap time was 15.4. Might have to drive in a little bit harder to get some speed. Loose maybe up there. Just a little bit. Halfway home. Fuel's good. Your last lap time was at fifteen point four. Coming Just kind of going in circles. Yeah. Uh, halfway there. I need to use a little bit of that apron maybe to get it turned. Center corner. Carry some speed. Mistakes from the guys ahead, it feels like. Those guys just might be a little bit faster than me, maybe. Doing a kick of the brake, see if that helps. Roll it, kick it to get the angle a little better, and go through the corner. I'm basically, just going the same speed every lap. That time I got a little tight. Trying to make moves up there, it looks like. Trying to get a run, maybe. Will we see any bumper? Got a big gap behind us now. Something might have happened to the guy that was behind us. They're side by side. I think we might be too far away to make anything of it, though.
use the apron there. That kind of worked. We go uh, farther down. Slow car ahead. Uh oh. Stopped ahead. Where are they? Don't want to dive it in on the seven. All right, Colton. The it is disappointing. Is we weren't able to get alongside. So who, who got uh, slow car there? That guy on our lap? Did not know. Good consistency. He's driving like he is. Are they battling for the lead up there? No idea. I can't even like I don't have any time to look at my relative or anything because the laps are so short. That includes the straightaways. I think that's the leader, or the former leader, maybe in second. Did he get sideways? I have no idea. We only got 11 to go, though. I have the feeling we'll see some bumper before the end of this one. Everyone's close enough to make that happen, eventually. Great job. Here to go. You've just done a 15.5. I'm going to use that apron. I don't know if it's actually working for us, though. It's, uh, it's kind of hurting our run off. No, he's sideways. They're all wrecking. What just happened? Well, we are in second place. Bullshit, man. Third place. Leader's far yeah, up ahead, it. apparently. Thanks, Matt, you fucking asshole. You're a lap car. Get the fuck out of the way. So it was a lap car. Chill out, bro. I barely got into that, dude, and y'all just come and plowed into everyone. And it's my... Uh, that last slot was a 15 Now, next seven. joke. It is. I'm the leading car trying to chase down the leader, and I'm passing you on the outside, filling my tires. Get out of the way, man. So, the guy I was most worried about sounds like, uh, I'm just gonna fucking move you. Trying to be nice and wait for you to move, but Wrecked a bunch of people. Yeah, that's cool, man. No one cares. Race harder. Hey, lay off the booze and get a break, buddy. Five laps to go. We're a great spot for some hardware. Well, that's great. So, a lap car wrecks a bunch of people. Appreciate you destroying my first race. Works out for us, but that's not really how I'd it have happened. Control your steering wheel. No, but you have control of your stupidity. Might just give it to this 12 here. Whatever, man. It's faster, and I don't really want to get the bumper. He catches us. What just happened? Now we got more people. And four, guarantee you won't block me again. Two left to go. Two to go. Okay, bud. I didn't block you. Come on. You're looking good for a podium. What is going on? I think we had an I intent wreck or something. What flag? What flag? You weren't nowhere near fast enough to catch Evan, nor race me and the guy I was in. Dude, I was right on the second place's bumper. What are you talking about? I didn't see you anywhere around. I think you're running around like six or seven. Well, that was something. We somehow get third. We don't deserve it. Behind him, because you were in the way. Well, there was a guy in front of me, and you're back there pushing me. What do you think is going to happen? Solid work. And they're wrecking after. Get me off this track. Just figure speech. Wow. Nice run, bud. Bud. Don't look at that. That's yeah, ugly. Yeah, would have been real good. You didn't, you didn't finish it up. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, that was a good battle going on in front of the back and fuck this all up. Yeah, like I said, put the booze down and get a break pedal. Wow, this is a short track tempers going on here. Let's find out what happened in the incidents, I guess. We'll get the full backstory. The deepest lore. <laughs> Or <laughs> whatever's happened in this race. It was going so well for so long. We were just slow. And then uh, things really kicked off, I think, whenever a lap car got involved. 
Bring Leon here, the 2 and the 15 to come together. Um, I think maybe the 2 is a little bit too far down. That's hard to say, though. Maybe the 15 a little too far up. I've only done it like a couple, a handful of races here at Sobo, like not that many. So I'm not as familiar with the perfect ideal line. So I'm not going to be the best judge of that one, but it was a little bit of net code anyway, actually a pretty decent bit, though I think they were coming together regardless. That uh, slows them down and everybody behind them as well. Oh, is the 15 broken from that? Yeah, this car's not turning right anymore, I don't think. Or I guess it's not turning left anymore. I guess that would be the more correct way to talk about it. Uh, 11's getting loose and spinning. And uh, they are not able to slow it down much. They head on right into the inside wall. Pretty significant hit there. But they're going to be able to get going before the leaders come around, it looks like. And they're finding the wall yeah, a bit. one thing, Shane. Matt will never block me again. Well, I don't think he's better off than the next one. But uh, if he's in front of me, I don't think he's fast enough either. But I'll put him him. Nine checks up a little bit for the eight, maybe. And four gets yeah, him. I'm going to do the same thing. I try and give him respect. All, any lap car or any lead car, whatever. But especially the lap car, you're going to sit there and block me and block me. I get tired of Yeah. Yeah, he 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 came out of the pits or whatever oh, and then wow. and he was so slow, like I passed him on the outside and he wouldn't let me clear him down. So I just took it the one time and then he just sat there and he would get like as close to me and he was hitting me and then he cost me so much time to you and then he just I guess got tired of it and ran me over or his five dollar brake pedal broke. Yes, I think the ten was looking for trouble yeah, just the way he was talking. I he was take you but out. uh the eight kind of does an that. early turn in, maybe but kind I, of trying to block we the four. The four decides to just run into the back of him, and uh, non-apologetically yeah. either. He blasts him so hard he turns himself too. Keep up when you were battling those guys behind you, I couldn't. I had to waste everything I had on that guy. And the eight just leaves from that. I'll catch him the next one if you're in. Yep, have a good one. And here is what happens to the 10. I think this is his initial wreck. Looks here the 13's getting loose and is therefore too far low on the track here, exiting the corner. And so when the 10 comes up to take his normal line, he uh, gets put sideways and then the 2 finishes him off. Doesn't really have a choice. No time to react to that and nowhere to go. But uh, the 10 gets spun around and then eventually becomes a roadblock it sounds like yeah here it is we've got uh, p2 and p3 it sounds like he was just right in the middle of their battle for no reason for a very long time like costing this guy causing this guy to have to battle on the outside just being a horrible lap car no respect shown at all and uh so he's just ruining these guys' race, and then what happens here? What is the thing that causes everything? The 10 looks like he runs into the back of the 6. Like, why? Why would you do that? Just ridiculous, man. And then that causes a chain reaction. Five gets into the back of him. And then the 12 gets in the back of the 5. About a thousand people stack up, and we're coming up on it. We go from 6th to whatever, 3rd or something there. That's 3 spots, so yeah, we're about 3rd, I think, at this point. Somehow making it through that one. Really unlucky for a lot of the guys there that just barely don't make it through. We're able to find a path, though. Another angle of that one. The six almost saves it, but then they end up... I don't know, that's gross. I don't think I can show that on YouTube. <laughs> but they figure that out, I guess. Um, 
Oh no, they're still wrecking. So, I think more people come up on this later. The Seven did a great job of avoiding it. And then these guys are not waiting for guys to come by. This is some of the no caution magic that you're going to get. So rather than sit there and wait for uh, it to be clear or to even for that matter hook a hard left and make sure you're straight and parallel. He probably could have done that and been fine. He kind of slowly drives into the middle of the track. Probably still in fourth gear. The five does a pretty poor job too. Just drives straight, but I mean, I imagine he's probably pretty mad and not thinking straight. So he pulls out right in the middle of the track. Also, this place is so narrow. Even if he sat there where he was, maybe they still start wrecking. But a couple more close calls right there. Then lap 43 we've got. Just a wall hit. Ooh. Then, uh, is this all in the same lap? Yeah, it looks like it. Maybe? They're fighting hard for where they are right there. 14 gets, uh, I think he's probably tight and almost hitting the wall, and so it's the let off, and the 13 catches him. And that's net code. That's big net code. That's huge net code. That's unfortunate. 14 gets sideways. 14 must have bad connection. That was another bad net code hit. Though I think he was obviously going to hit him anyway that time. Oh man. Five's bad luck continues. There's a couple more. People can't get around it there. And then the barrels. The three finds it. Yikes. 14. Found a, a secret over there. Secret compartment in the track. He's gonna get going. Kind of? Ooh. Oh my gosh, he's doing donuts in the middle of the track. More frightening scenes here at Sobo. 14's car looks like it is a handful right now. That thing's probably got inverse controls. Wow. And then I guess the three is intent wrecking the five. And then the 12 is an innocent bystander because... I don't know. Maybe the race is over. Maybe they're friends or something because the three's... The winner, and he wasn't really around anybody. So maybe they're messing around and the race is over at this point. No idea. But, uh, wow, that was an interesting one. Short track's uh, gonna short track. And thankfully it works out for us. I was not third on speed, but I am third on finish. And uh, <laughs> I'll take it. My right front was hideous. Don't look at that. Forget you saw that, actually. Um, my tires were even. It was crazy. Perfect tire saving. <laughs> um, never mind the fact that it was really tight by the end of it. 3197 strength of field. Um, somehow. Uh, we get P3. 13 I rating gained. And uh, 0x. We were one of two people with the 0x. Shout out to the 7. The two uh, 0x guys. Maybe the 3 did get into something, because he has a 4x here. Um, maybe he was mad about something. Maybe we'll find uh, real quick, since uh, that is otherwise the end of the video. Maybe we'll go back and look real quick, see, uh, yeah, look at that, a 20 second lap here. So he's involved in something. I mean, you can't blame that on the 5. Maybe he's mad that uh, the 5, like... <laughs> Didn't really turn to the left after getting in all that, but... Maybe the 5 doesn't get out of his way and it upsets him. 5's like looping it. I don't know. No idea. I don't see anything that uh, totally egregious that specifically the 5 did to the 3 there. I mean, <laughs> this, uh, this guy had quite the lead if he was able to do all that and still win. By over a second, no less. 
But uh, that is going to do it for this one. Pretty wild uh, night here at Sobo. Lots of uh, craziness. And uh, thankfully we are able to abstain from being a part of any of it. There are your incident totals. And uh, that's where we'll leave it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.